Alright, fellas, we are sitting here waiting for the Eagle season to begin, right? I'm so excited. I can't wait to watch Carson do his thing. It's such a crazy time in my life to see the Eagles win the Super Bowl, and now I gotta watch him try and do it again. Oh my god. But I did get a phone call discussing the Philadelphia Eagles, so I figured why not give it a shot. Let's talk some birds. It's never a bad thing to discuss the Philadelphia Eagles. If you want to call into the show, the link is in the description on how to do it. It is so simple, so simple. But before you go do that, let's take a listen to our phone call. What's up, Broads? It's Dan. I want to talk to you a little bit about our birds this upcoming season. We're going to be the Super Bowl defending champs for the first time in team history. Doesn't that sound nice? But I'm really excited about this team because we have a ton of returning players. That gets me excited. But the one thing I want to know from you is, of the players who will not be coming back this season, which concerns you the most? I know we've lost a couple of role players and Michael Kendricks and Trey Burton and LeGarrette Blunt. Which concerns you the most? All right, that's a great call. I mean, seriously, it's an issue. It's an issue because we do lose some key pieces that were here last year. I mean, Trey Burton, the Philly special, but I'm not too upset about that. He is a great player. I love him as a person. He really did fit everything personality-wise, culture-wise, but we picked up Dallas Goddard, right? So, like, I can imagine Dallas Goddard. Obviously, I haven't seen him play yet in the NFL or anything, but from what I hear, the reports I see, the highlights, everything, analysts, it seems to me that he's going to be such a bigger threat than Trey Burton was, so I don't feel as that is the biggest issue of somebody leaving. You discuss... The Garrett Blunt, huge piece to this. I mean, third down back, he had some monster runs, but you know, it is the running back position, and it is it is a loss, but you gotta factor in. Who comes back? Darren Sproles. So now we have Darren Sproles, Jay Jai Clement. Like it's not a bad back core, and that doesn't concern me. I think we can still succeed tremendously with the running back situation that we have right now. LeGarrette Blunt is obviously a key piece of that third down back and all, but I still think with what we have, it'll be okay. So then obviously it comes down to the linebacker and Michael Kendricks. That's big. I mean, Jordan Hicks can't stay healthy. It's an issue. He hasn't been able to stay healthy in how many seasons? So linebacker core, Michael Kendricks leaving could possibly be the answer for me. That's that's where I think the biggest loss was because our depth in the linebacker position is just not there. You take a look. We obviously have Jordan Hicks and Nigel Bradham, but I've already discussed, like, the, the, the man just can't stay healthy. So that concerns me. So then what? We pick up Corey Nelson, right? Okay. Uh, a nice little piece, but it's not like, ugh, you know, it's not strong. I think that's our our weakest spot as a team. Now, I think obviously with the defensive line doing what they do, adding all these key components and just being a solid beast and being able to rotate so many guys through is going to help out that decor or uh, linebacker position. It's going to help because the quarterback's going to have less time to make a decision with the football. So, and on top of that, we have Malcolm Jenkins back there. We got some nice cornerbacks that I really do trust in with Darby and, and Sidney Jones stepping up being a young stud. So, you know, the, the linebacker situation is a problem. We're going to have Walker back there. You know what I'm saying? I think the the defense will be okay. I, I'm not sitting here crying and so concerned about it. But if there is one thing that worries me the most, which isn't a lot, but it's the most out of anything else, is... The linebacker situation. But I think as a defensive core, we're still going to be structured and, and okay. I mean, I trust Jim Schwartz and I trust this coaching staff to be able to play around it. And I'm just saying, if it is true and Jordan Hicks can stay healthy, oh, come on. This is all based on if Jordan Hicks gets hurt because his track record says he's probably going to. But Nigel Bradham and, and Jordan Hicks... Come on, fellas. We're right there again. We're right there. It's the weirdest thing in the world to be Super Bowl champions and head into a season. I've, I've never felt this way before. It's weird because I'm so used to just being like, come on, birds. This is the year. This is the year. We just had that. And now you got to flip the page. We keep talking about it. Nick Foles was just discussing on Fox Sports 1. I, I think he was even on uh, the show with Nick Wright. And 
he was just discussing, like, Doug Peterson is the man. He's the one flipping the page. He's not saying, okay, boys, we won the Super Bowl. Let's take it easy. You don't have to worry about OTAs or anything. Nah, he's ready to go right now. He's ready to get this team right back to where they were. And he's pushing them. And he's making them earn it all over again. And good. I'm so excited for this bird season. Let's go. So I'm not worried about the back, the running back core. I'm really not. Am I worried about the linebacker position? Eh, I mean, I think as a defensive whole, we can figure it out. I mean, Michael Kendricks is a nice piece. He brought effort and all that. But, you know, I, I we'll survive. We will absolutely survive. So, there's my answer. Thank you so much for the phone call. Down below, you will see the link in the description on how to call into the show. It's so simple. You use your voice recording app. You send it to sportsandbroads at gmail.com. Bang. Bang, you got yourself an episode. So thank you guys so much for listening. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Where you think this bird season's going to go? How do you feel this team is with losing guys like Blunt, losing guys like Michael Kendricks? Where is our, you know, do we have a problem because we lose these guys? Let me know your thoughts down below.